What's up guys, how you doing? I hope you've had a great week. If you haven't been here before, my name is Philip Scrubber. If you have, welcome back. Today, we're talking about lights, LED, RGB video lights. Now, um, so if you're interested, by the way, in film photography, make sure you press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and um, YouTube is gonna notify you of all my future films. So that's gonna be pretty cool for you. And for me, we're, it's, everybody's gonna be happy. Um, today we're talking about the Andy Cine P1 Vlogger. Now, um, one small thing, this is an Andy Cine light, which Andy Cine did send me for review. Um, I'm going to try and make this review as honest and as unbiased as possible. Um, this box is almost impossible to open, um, but when you do, it's, oh, what a beautiful light. Ooh, it's beautiful. Um, and they... It is their light, but normally on Amazon, there's like a sticker right here saying Andy Cine. Um, I don't have a sticker, so Andy Cine, if you'd like to send me one, I'll stick it on. At the moment, I'm in the middle of doing um, a whole GoPro accessories guide for YouTube, and I just want to show you guys this. I mean, have you ever seen a GoPro attachment like this? I mean, is that a knuckle duster for a GoPro? <laughs> Back in the film school days, my good friend Alan, um, he used to have a knuckle duster with him all the time just to make orange squash note out. But I mean, well... anyway, let's roll the intro. Cine. Bowling P1 Vlogger. Right, so today we're talking about the Andy Cine P1 Vlogger. Now, this is a beautiful light. Um, like I said, it comes in a box that doesn't open, so you might have to bash the out of this box to open it, but it is actually quite beautiful, so I'm going to leave it on my shelf. Um, I did a review last week or the week before of the Pilot Flight Atom Cube. As you can see, they're very, very similar lights, very similar form factor. The LEDs are even identical when looking at them, um, the amount of them, the size of them, it's very, very similar. They do have a few differences, so I'm going to put these guys head to head and do a comparison review for you guys, probably in a week or two. So if you're on the edge of buying one or the other, you'll be able to choose. Now, this guy comes in at £145 or $159. Is that a lot for a light? Um, well, you keep watching. You get the lowdown and you'll see. So let's talk about what comes in the box. The Andy Cine Bowling P1 Vlogger Light. The Bowling P1 Vlogger Light case with molly straps at the back. Oh my god. A USB A to USB C cable. A snail hot shoe mount. A cheat sheet. So, is this a good light? It's an awesome light, it really is. Um, one of my favorite things about this light is that it starts from 1%. I mean, right there, wait a sec, let's just pop it up to 1%. Right there, that is that is one percent. I don't know if you guys can see the LEDs are just barely on. Now that's amazing because very very rarely do I see a light that starts from one percent. It's normally five percent, but very usually ten percent. So one percent is awesome, and um, it goes up in one percent increments all the way up to one hundred percent. So the faster you flip the um, dim wheel here the faster it's going to go up and the slower you do it, the slower it's going to go. So that's a really cool thing. And this is always the dim wheel. So no matter what functions you're changing in this light, this will always change the brightness of the light. That's a really cool thing. And it's exactly the same on the um, pilot fly here. So you've got the dim wheel here. That, that's, that's a really cool addition to a light. So you're going to have to change functions and dim it using the same um, toggle wheel. So the light does come with a cold shoe mount right here, which you can attach to one of the eight 
um, quarter 20 mounts around this bracket, um, which means you can quite easily connect your camera to your hot shoe and swivel it. Let's turn it on so you get a better idea of what's going on. Swivel it in any direction so I can light you. Um, I can light myself if I want to do that. However, I might be going for a bounce. Um, and you can really do some cool things with this bracket. So that's a really cool addition. It's also a light that is pocket friendly. So pocket test, boom, right there. Um, so that's a really cool thing. So if you're traveling anywhere, this light's gonna come in really handy. Um, it was a really small fill light to light anything, light products. It's, it's gonna be your best friend when you're traveling. So this guy, just like the Pilot Fly Atom Cube RX1, has 70 color LED beads and 40 cold and 40 warm LEDs. Um, it has a TLCI of 97 and a CRI of 96, which is really high. And that means the higher the number to 100, the closer the color is perfectly tuned into the color of the sun. That makes sense. Well, anyway, um, if you've got a light that's 60 CRI, then you're going to shine it on your face and your face is going to be green or magenta or some other foul color. But the higher you are to 100, so 96 CRI and 97 TLCI um, is ridiculously high and it's very rare that a light goes over 96. Um, so when it comes to quality of light color, um, this is very, very high. So you can be assured that when you're filming someone, their skin tones will be beautiful. Now, because this is a bicolor light, so daylight and tungsten, you have two sets of warm and cold LEDs, um, which means that when they're both on, you have like the sweet spot. Now the sweet spot on this light lands at 5,500 Kelvins. Daylight is typically known as 5,600 Kelvins. Um, you can see the lights on right there. If I tilt it down, it's a little bit easier for you to see. So you've got the warm and the cold on. So if I go all the way down 2,500, it's nice and warm. And if I go all the way up to 8,500, it's nice and cold. And you can see that the lights turn on and off. And if I go all the way in the middle um, to 5,500, you can see that all the lights are on. Now, if we go down again, let me just pump it up and show you how nice and warm this light is. Um, and you can see that it doesn't have any crazy color jumps. So I'm going to pump it all the way up to 8,500 Kelvin. So you can see it's extremely smooth when it goes up and down on the Kelvin scale. Now the thing I love about some of these lights are the effects. Um, you might not use them, but if you do, they come in pretty cool for little short films. So on the back panel now, we're in the effects uh, menu and you can get there by pressing the set button here. So if we turn the light on to 100%, you can see right now we're on the lightning effect. Um, if we use the scroll wheel here, if we pull down, it's going to go to faster lightning. If we pull down once more, we're going to go to TV mode. So it's kind of the soft flicker of a TV. So you can place it in front of you or your subject and you can use it as a TV light. Um, if we press it in, we're going to go to 360 RGB mode. So it's going to go around the 360 wheel or this little um, chart here. And it's just going to go around and around and around. If we press, sorry, if we pull down once again, it's going to go faster. If we pull down once again, we're going to have a candle fire kind of mode and it's quite nice it flickers quite well it feels like you're actually in front of a fire <laughs> um, if we press the dial in once more we're going to go to the popo so right now we've got the popo mode if we press it down once more we're going to go to ambulance and if we press it down once more we're going to go to fire brigade so those are the nine effects this light comes with Okay, so now we're gonna try on-off memory, which is something that I'm always a big fan of. Um, so if you can see the light right here, I'm just gonna change a few settings. I'm going to go to not RGB, say 
let's go to the effects mode and we have lightning. So let's turn it off. You think it's going to work? Ah, that's beautiful. This light passed the on off test. So it's got memory. It does remember the last settings. You turn it off, you turn it back on. It's going exactly to where you left it. So in this size comparison, you can see that the Bowling P1 is very similar to the iPhone 8 Plus. And here it is next to a credit card sized card. Now we're going to do a comparison next to the Pilotfly Atomcube RX1, which is very, very similar. And the Aperture AL MX, which I think everybody knows. Now the MX is a little bit smaller, though it is a lot thicker. So this little light is packing a 2930 milliamp hour battery inside it, which is awesome because you don't have to take any batteries with you. You just take the light, you put it in your little um, pouch, boom, and you're off. Um, you don't need any extra batteries. That's a great thing. Now the battery in this light, it's big. And I did a test last night, um, which I have right here. And it ran for two hours and 28 minutes, 100% in daylight, so 5,600 Kelvins. To charge it, it took three hours and 25 minutes um, to 100%. Now the thing that just mind boggled, gobsmacked me was that when I turned this light on, after I charged it, 100% with 100% um, power, 100% saturation, and zero on the um, hue scale, which is red. This guy, it took forever. I turned it on about 10 p.m., so I was like half dead when it finished. This guy took four hours and 30 minutes to discharge to zero percent. Four hours and 30 minutes on HSI, 100%. I mean, that's a long time. Now this guy does have quick charge power delivery, um, though my friend Jared from Jared and Dunn, you can catch the film up here somewhere, he did notice when doing his review that using the USB to USB-C cable, um, USB-C to USB-C cable, it will not work. You need to use a USB-C to USB-A cable with a USB-A to USB-C adapter on top of that. And then the power delivery option will work. That's a really weird thing, but um, that's how it works. Durability of this light. Well, it's built just like the Pilot Fly. Um, this this light is a tank. It's it's extremely well built. Um, I can't see any flaws in this light when it comes to build quality. It's um, it's a beautiful light. I haven't noticed any flickering issues whilst doing slow motion with this light. Um, so that's a lifesaver because you know what happens when your light starts flickering. You just want to just throw your whole, everything you've shot, all your footage in the bin. Boom. So what I've done is I've turned my key light down quite a bit. Um, let's bump this guy all the way up to 8,500. And let's see what it looks like as a key light. That's nice and cold. Um, if we go all the way down to 2500, it's going to be nice and warm. It's pretty cool, huh? Now, if we use this light as, say, if we go down to about 50%, there's a really nice fill light right here. So this is how it looks normally. And this is with the fill light. Um, we could use it as a nice warm hair light, though I do have my Young Nool YN360 up there. But you can see it bouncing off my beautiful bold skull um, as a hair light. <laughs> um, using the light on the background, um, it's also very nice and powerful, and it will light the background up with no problems at all if you'd like to use it as a light on your background. Now I'm going to circle through the colors for the HSI so that you can see what it looks like. There is no manual mode in HSI, so <clears throat> what you see is what you get, which is actually pretty cool because the manual mode is just confusing for most um, human beings.
So do I like using this light? I've been playing around with it for quite a while now and um, yeah, I love using it. Just the build quality, the colors, the colors are so tasty. They're delicious actually, you just wanna eat them up. Um, I'm having a really fun time with this light. This bracket, like I said, I wish every single light had a bracket like this. It's just, it's you can see it's a really well put together light. So Andy Cine, awesome light. So the Andy Cine Bowling P1, um, is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. It's an absolutely awesome light. Anyone looking for a small pocket light um, or a travel light, I highly recommend this light. The build quality is amazing. The quality of light is extremely accurate and the colors to die for. Plus you get some awesome effects. So this is a light I highly recommend you buying. Um, if you have this light, if you're looking to buy this light, if, if you have any ideas, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, make sure to write them all below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So if you like this film, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That's gonna help me a lot. Show me some love by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you ring that bell so YouTube keeps you updated as to all my new films. On that note, I'm gonna catch you on the other side.